what's up, this is Reed. Google just released a new Nest thermostat which costs way less than the current third gen that's been out for a while. Which got me thinking, as smart thermostats keep getting less expensive, is there a reason to pay top dollar anymore? I'm going to show you this new Nest compared to more expensive options I've been using for the past few years, like the Nest third gen and Ecobee. That way you can see what features are missing. I thought this would be a good time to test out the thermostats because it's been over 90 degrees here in Arizona. I mean, it's normal to run your AC in November, right? Okay, first let's start off by looking at the new Nest thermostat which only costs $129. That's almost half the price of the Nest third gen. It doesn't really look like a budget option, it has a mirrored finish and the display shines through. At first I thought, man, this thing looks ugly. Then I realized it was just my reflection. But the design on this is awesome. There are not any cutouts for the sensors because the sensors are behind the mirror finish using the Soli technology. It's the same thing Google used in the Pixel 4 phones. So when you walk up to the thermostat, the display turns on to show the current temperature. Another thing that's different is that it no longer uses the Nest app. Instead, it uses the Google Home app. I have a feeling they might be phasing out the Nest app. Nah, Google would never kill off something. In the Google Home app, you can do basic functions. Of course, you can change the temperature, but you can also set schedules and view an energy dashboard to see how often your system is running. You can have the system go into away mode to help save you money using your phone's location. It can also use the Soli sensor to help with this as well. Since this new Nest is made for those who haven't had a smart thermostat before, the on-screen menu is very simple. It's about as simple as you can get, but how you control it? It's a different story. Instead of the rotating ring on the previous Nest thermostats, this just has a touch sensor on the right. It works okay, but there are plenty of times where I swiped and it didn't register it, or I accidentally swiped when I didn't mean to. I'm still getting used to it, and I don't think it's very intuitive for someone like a family member who's visiting. Changing the temperature could work if someone thought it was a ring. However, I think it's one of the main weak points of this thermostat. You might be like, Reed, you're going to be controlling the thermostat from your phone anyways. And that's true, but usability in the app isn't the greatest. Say you want to add a schedule for when you wake up in the morning. You click on schedules and click the add button below. Selecting the temperature only gives presets. You can create a custom preset, but it's in a different section of the app. Then after you create the preset, you have to go all the way back to finally add it. Not what I would call ideal for someone just getting started with a smart thermostat. Another way Google cut costs was by not including a faceplate. The base of the new thermostat is very small because it tapers down. Most likely it won't cover up the previous holes in the wall, so you'll probably need the faceplate. It's $15 and the price doesn't bother me, but the design of it does. The edges curl away from the wall. Most faceplates curve towards the wall, which helps it blend in. It almost looks like it's backwards, but it's not. When I was setting up this thermostat, I ran into a major issue. When it came time to connect it to the Wi-Fi, it was looking for other Nest devices, which it couldn't find any. After troubleshooting it a lot, I eventually had to create another home in the Google Home app, which is just completely unacceptable that it made me do this, and hopefully they fix it soon. As you can see, the new Nest is pretty simple, but let's see what extra features you would get if you paid a little more for the Nest third gen. First is remote temperature sensors. Only the third gen will work with these. The sensors just change which room the inside temperature is read from. So if you want the temperature of your bedroom to be used instead of the hallway for setting your heat at night, these sensors will do that. You can only select one device for indoor temperature, so it cannot average the sensors. Nest third gen also has Farsight, which allows the thermostat to pick up motion from far back and show different displays as you walk up to it. The new Nest just displays the temperature, and I have to be pretty close before it picks up the motion. You can set schedules on the physical thermostat of the third gen, but you can only do this in the app for the budget Nest. There's also a rechargeable battery built into the third gen and AAA batteries on the new Nest thermostat. If the batteries die, the thermostat will still work and it will display a message to replace them. Of course, the third gen has a learning functionality since it's part of its name. Basically, it learns your preferences and automatically adjusts to the way you use the thermostat. Honestly, I don't really like this feature because I prefer to set it up the exact way I like it. Actually, if it could learn that I don't like this feature and automatically disable it for me, 
That would be great. The physical ring on the third gen is more user friendly, especially for quickly changing the temperature. Lastly, the new Nest thermostat isn't going to work with as many HVAC systems as the third gen. So use the compatibility checker to make sure you can even use this. Now, if you're thinking about paying more for the Nest third gen for a more premium option with better features, wait, because the Ecobee might be a better option. It's my favorite out of these three, but it's not for everyone. Ecobee isn't as user friendly, but you have access to more advanced features. One of the settings you can adjust is the temperature swing. What that means is if you set the thermostat to 76 degrees with a two degree temperature swing, the AC won't kick on until it's 78 degrees, since that's two degrees higher. This helps it so it can run less frequently and extend the life of your HVAC system and potentially save more on your electric bill. The Nest thermostats are locked in at a one degree swing, which is good, but something to consider if you wanna be able to adjust it. There's also a lot more data available with Ecobee. You can see the outside temperature, inside temperature, and when the system is running, compared to just the minutes per hour on the Nest Energy dashboard. The Ecobee sensors are also better. They have motion detection to set the temperature or know if you're home. Plus, they can average the temperature of all your sensors if you want. Ecobee also has a touchscreen which is more intuitive to use. Lastly, it's much more compatible with smart home devices. It works with SmartThings and HomeKit, for example, plus it works with Google and Amazon's voice assistants, whereas Nest only works with the voice assistants. All right, so now the question is, do you go with budget or premium? Well, unless you're in love with the new design and the simplicity of the new Nest thermostat, I would go with premium, especially with Ecobee. Even if you won't use all the extra features of the premium thermostat now, they're available if you need them. But the main reason is usability. The app and physical device are not easy to use on the new Nest, which you think it would be since it's made for first time buyers. Now, if the price is a major factor or you only wanna use the Google Home app and not clutter up your phone with other apps, the new Nest is a good thermostat and it looks amazing. I just think the Ecobee works much better and it's worth paying $100 more if you want or even the third gen, which is still a great option. I'll be doing more videos with automations and smart thermostats in the future, so subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again next time. Hey Ali, have you seen the? Have I seen the what? Never mind, I found it.